In this video, we are going to learn about arcs and circles. If you have a circle and you want to think about just a portion of the circle, that will be called an arc. So if we take two points on the circle and call them A, B, and we want to think about just the little line there that connects A to B, that's actually called an arc. So this right here is an arc, and it would be called arc AB. And the way you write that is you write AB, and then you just put a little arc symbol over it. Arc AB is called a minor arc because it is less than half the circle. If we wanted to think about the other arc that's actually created by A and B, this whole big thing, that's called a major arc because it is more than half the circle. So anytime you think about two points on a circle, two arcs are created, both a minor arc and a major arc. So the minor arc we called arc AB. So we can't also call the major arc AB, or else if I said arc AB, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So anytime you're naming a major arc, you need three letters. So I'm gonna add a third letter over here, C, so the major arc we would call arc A, C, B. And again, you just put the arc symbol over it. Anytime you're naming a major arc, you always have to use three letters. Otherwise, people will assume that you're talking about the smaller minor arc. One way of measuring an arc is in degrees. A whole circle is 360 degrees all the way around. So this whole thing all the way around is 360 degrees. So arc AB is a portion of 360 degrees. If we draw the center point and two radiuses that connect the center to A and the center to B, arc AB will always be the same measure as this angle right here, which is called the central angle. So let's say that this central angle was 95 degrees. That would mean that the measure of arc AB is also 95 degrees. Now because a full circle is 360 degrees, if you know the measure of the minor arc, you can also figure out the measure of the major arc by doing 360 degrees minus the minor arc measure. So if we wanted to figure out the measure of arc ACB, what we would do is 360, the full circle, minus 95, which is the minor arc, and then we will be left with the major arc. So that would be 265 degrees. Now let's look at one more example. What if you had a circle and the arc you were talking about was actually half the circle. So if you were talking about arc ABC, that would be this arc right here, because you just follow around ABC. And because AC is the diameter of the circle, it means that this arc we're talking about is actually what's called a semicircle, because it's half a circle. That prefix semi means half. So if it's half the circle, the measure of that arc will be 180 degrees because that's half of 360. 360, which is the whole circle, divided by 2 equals 180. So this is sort of a special type of arc if it's a semicircle, and it will always be 180 degrees.